How about the dose response curve? Because I'm I'm aware that the the curve is it's not a linear curve. More equals better. There is a there is a point of diminishing returns. So how if you were to use you know one of these panels, how would you know uh, what the minimal effective dose is and what the best dose is? Right. So the the thing that confuses people even more than you've just mentioned is that different people respond differently. So some individuals are highly sensitive to light, red, near infrared light. Um, some individuals, as I say, are like blocks of wood. You can shine light on them all day and nothing will happen. I mean, the majority are in between. You know, it's like a bell curve. It is the hypersensitive individuals that will most often complain that they got adverse effects from photobiomodulation. Okay. And if your question is, how do you know who these hypersensitive individuals are? And the answer is, well, they're hypersensitive. They complain about all sorts of things. You know, they're allergic. They uh, don't like loud noises. They don't like bright light. They uh, can only eat certain kinds of food. You know, their whole life seems to be governed by being hypersensitive. So if you're going to treat these people with photobiomodulation, be very careful because they're the ones that complain <laughs> all sorts of things going wrong. <laughs> you know, the, the majority of people, as I say, in the middle, and it's difficult to overdose them on light. I'm not saying you can't do it, but, you know, most, and it's not a sudden drop off, right? Most people can figure it out by trial and error. And if if they think that, well, you know, I got some benefit, um, you're kind of constrained by the length of time it's going to take. But there again, you can get a more powerful device. So if you have a two watt LED device, for instance, you use it for 15 minutes, you say, that's good, well, that's nice. Um, you use it for 30 minutes and you it's better then yeah, eventually, what you're going to do is get a more powerful device. You don't have to spend three hours lying under this device. <laughs> um, so, yeah, most people can figure that out for themselves over time. Um, it makes me want to ask about contraindications with photobiomodulation. You mentioned before that um, shining it on a tumor is probably not a good idea. Um, are, are there any other contraindications with using uh, red and near infrared light? Well, I mean, you know, the history, I, I am not convinced that shining it on a tumor is necessarily bad, right? Everybody thinks it's bad. And, you know, because nobody wants to do any damage and get sued, nobody does it. But there have been a few animal experiments and even one or two clinical trials shining light directly on the tumor that have been beneficial but you know nevertheless having said that and the reason they're beneficial is probably due to stimulating the immune system you know, so obviously the you know tumors have a lot of immune cells in them which are not doing much but if you can sort of wake these immune cells up they can perhaps fight the tumor now, the other thing is infections. People think, well, you could stimulate the bacteria to grow. And as you've talked about Tina Carew, a lot of her early experiments were with bacteria. So undoubtedly, you can stimulate bacteria. But there again, you can stimulate the host response. You know, so once you accept you can stimulate the host response, you could think about treating tumors and infections, but nevertheless, nobody does it just in case. And the other, you know, universal contraindication is pregnancy, which in my mind, nobody's investigated. And it, it's relatively easy to do it in animal models with pregnant mice and rats. Yeah, and there's been one or two studies, but Everything we know about the mechanisms would suggest that it, that a biomodulation would be beneficial to the developing fetus. It's just that nobody's really investigated it. 
And again, because nobody wants to get sued, you don't generally put the light on the belly of a pregnant woman. 